assalamu alaikum dear students i welcome you back in the next lecture of the lesson of magic lamps and genies in the previous lecture we dealt with the narrator and the background of the lesson as i told you that it is written by mark twain okay the lesson is written by mark twain who was an american novelist okay and this lesson is extracted from one of his most famous novels and name of the novel is the adventures of huckleberry finn okay at the same time we came to know that mark twain is known as the father of american literature and it is said that all the american literature are getting me it comes from adventures of huckleberry finn you got it so this lesson of magic lamps and genies is likewise about protagonist the main character of the story who is the main character who is the most important character of the story his name is huckleberry finn okay he is the main character of the story the protagonist so protagonist is the main character the central character of the story and the opposite of protagonist is antagonist are you getting me so in other term we can say that protagonist is similar some of similar to hero and antagonist is similar to uh, to a villain are you getting me so our central character the protagonist of the story is huckleberry finn and the story is about huckleberry finn and his friend the name of his friend is tom soil okay so let us see the story about these young boys let's begin the lesson begins with huckleberry finn and his friends my dears the word i is used there first person pronoun i is used as the lesson tells us that my friends and i had invented a new game are you getting me so who is i i stands for huckleberry finn are you getting me in short we can call him huck finn okay so i stands for huckleberry finn so actually what happens is like this that one day huckleberry finn and his friends they invented a game as you know that children of younger age are you getting me they play some games as you play in uh, some games in your childhood okay or at this stage you play some some of your favorite games with your friends like hide and seek kho kho cricket are you getting me <clears throat> and likewise huckleberry finn and his friends they invent a game okay and the game is pretend to pretend to be robbers yani beta unhone ek aisi game banayi jisme wo kiska role nibhate hain robbers ka choron ka jo log logon ko lootte hain theek hai now they pretend to be robbers and they play this game for a month for one month remember it okay so now here huckleberry finn tells us What did they used to do? वो क्या करते थे So they used to hide in the woods, hide in forests. Okay, and when they found that some drivers and some women have loaded their carts with eatables, are you getting me? With different things, they used to rob them. They used to loot them. Are you getting me? then the narrator tells us that 
his friend Tom Sawyer. As they looted the carts, Tom Sawyer used to call the turnips. As you बेटा जान सकती हो कि जो टर्निप होती है ना उसकी शेप आई एम नॉट ए गुड पेंटर बट आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट वन यू टॉक अबाउट ए टर्निप तो जो टर्निप होती है इसकी शक्ल जो है ना बेटा ये कैसे मिलती है ज्वेल से मिलती है आर गेटिंग मी दे यूज टू लोड दे यूज टू rob turnips and corn okay what is this corn maki okay so corn is supposed to be reddish in color are you getting me so tom sawyer called that turnips turnips is just like they are jewels it is jewelry okay and he used to call that corn is gold brick यानी कि जब वो लूटते थे बेटा ये टर्निप्स ये कॉर्न देन दे यूज टू असेंबल गेट असेंबल इन ए केव ठीक है जो उनकी सीक्रेट प्लेस हुआ करती थी फिर टॉम वहाँ पे क्या कहता था देन ही यूज टू स्पीक इन सच ए वे एज इफ दे हैव लूटेड ज्वेलरी एंड गोल्ड ब्रिक्स आज हमने ये किया ठीक है सो दे यूज टू पाउ वाउ ओवर वर्ड दे हैड डन Talk about what they had done, loftily. Are you getting me? So it was the exaggeration. बड़ा चढ़ा कर वो पेश करते थे आज हमने ये किया इतना सोना हमने लूटा हाँ इतनी ज्वेलरी हमने जमा की आर गेट मी सो दीज वर दियर चाइल्ड हुड गेम्स दैट द यूज टू एंजॉय इन दियर चाइल्ड हुड ओके बट एट द सेम टाइम हकल बरी फिन टेल्स दैट द कॉन एंड ज्वेल्स दैट द कलेक्टेड वॉज ऑफ नो वर्थ to them it was of no worth to them it was useless to them isn't it how was it useless because nahi ye gold bricks thi aur nahi ye jewels thi wo kahan unko bej matlab bejte kahin nahi are getting me these were useless so they used to eat some of them baaki ko fek dete are getting me then we come close to next paragraph and it tells us that one day tom sawyer he sent a boy with a blazing stick विदे ब्लेजिंग स्टिक जो ये बेटा ब्लेजिंग स्टिक थी ये चमकती हुई स्टिक थी ठीक है इट वॉज साइन इट वॉज ए साइन दैट ऑल द फ्रेंड शुड असेंबल सम हुआ जैसे हम भी बचपन में कुछ करते हम विसल करते थे एक फ्रेंड को मतलब जब भी हम विसल करते हैं तो सारे फ्रेंड्स एक जगह जमा होते हैं या और कोई हम इंडिकेशन रखते हैं इन आर टू मीट आर गेटिंग सेम वॉज डन विद टॉम सर ही सेंट ए बॉय विद ब्लेजिंग स्टिक इन द मॉकेट It was actually a secret news. Are you getting me? That they have to get together. And Tom Sawyer got a news from his one of his spies, Jasus. One of his spies that Spanish merchant. Spain is actually a country in Europe. Are you getting me? It is name of a country. Now the news is that some Spanish merchants and rich Arabs, Spanish merchants and rich Arabs, are you getting me? they are coming the next day uh, in order to camp in cave hollow ek jagah ka naam hai cave hollow so they will camp there wahan pe apna dera wo dalenge wahan pe wo raat guzarenge wahan pe wo rest karenge and the plan is that they have to loot them they have to rob them these uh, spain merchants and rich arabs because they are coming with 200 elephants Two hundred elephants and six uh, hundred camels. Are you getting me? They are coming with two hundred elephants and six hundred camels. It means that they are very rich. So they they carry diamonds and they carry a lot of money with them. Are you getting me? They have four hundred soldiers as their guards. So they are not. Easy to loot. They are not easy to rob because they are. They will be guarded by four hundred soldiers, four so hundred guards. Now the plan is to attack them and loot them. Are you getting me? So if I ask you, is it possible to loot such a big caravan? Are you getting me? 
who will be guarded by 400 soldiers it is not possible so it is actually the childhood games that huckleberry finn tells us about himself and his friends are you getting me now finally they plan to sharp their swords they plan to the word used is slick up slick up means to smoothen to sharpen to clean ki ha kalo apne jo swords hain unko taiyar rakho jo guns hain unko saaf karo actually hakobari fin tells us that neither there were swords nor there were guns na unke paas swords the na hi guns the bilkul kya the beta they were having laths metal strips metal strips unke paas thi and some broom sticks are you getting me तो लैथ यूज हुई थी इन प्लेस ऑफ सोर्स ये मेटल सेटर में होते हैं बेटा तेज होते हैं ये लैथ हाँ ठीक है तो सोर्ड की तरह ही होते हैं थोड़े से मिलते हैं उनके साथ तो दे प्रिटेंडेड एज एज द लैथ व सोर्स एंड ब्रूम सेटिक्स व गन जैसे आप भी बचपन में करते होंगे आप कोई छिड़ी लाते हैं हाथ में ये मेरा ज्ञान है अर गेटिंग में तो दे डिड द सेम थिंग इन आर्डर टू लोड दैम नाव दे आर रेडी एंड दे हैव टू एम बुश इन द फॉरेस्ट आर गेटिंग में इन द वुड्स and down the hill now they are waiting for spaniards and mer- these are merchants in order to load them are you getting me my dear so what will happen next inshallah we will find that in the next lecture till then take care fi amanullah